It's one week after planting now and I'm back at the field here. Lee has gone off to the beach. Uh, I've just come back from the beach. Uh, so for a few days nobody was watching the crop. Uh, but it's now about a week after planting and it's the time to apply the first dose of fertilizer because we didn't apply a pre-plant application. Normally during the first uh, uh, one or two weeks or before planting you should apply a little bit of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to help the crop establish. So that's what I will uh, do now and hopefully that will help then also with the further uh, early stages then of crop development and tillering. So what I've done is just like I did last year, so I used the a fancy mobile phone application that uh, we have developed over many many years here at Erie nutrient manager for rice and the only difference is that this year we have a new version for the Philippines version 2.2 so it has a, a few more refinements uh, but what it does uh, it walks you through a series of uh, relatively simple questions about your field what you've done previously in the management how you manage your uh, organic matter what you do with your crop residue, what your source of irrigation water is, what your variety is, uh, and, and all of these things that basically one way or another influence the nutrient input output budget uh, of this particular field. And so we come up with uh, field specific fertilizer recommendation. So I can do this directly here in the field on this uh, smartphone. Uh, or I can do it uh, before that um, at home, either on a smartphone or on a tablet computer or on a desktop computer. And that's actually what I've done. So before I came here, I ran through this and I came up with uh, actually two fertilizer recommendations because if you may remember, one half of the field, this over there, we planted with uh, an input variety and this half we planted with a hybrid. So this is all normal and well-known principles of uh, crop nutrition in rice that are reflected in this software. And what I really like with it in particular is that it comes out with a very concrete prescription. So it's printed out and uh, I'm given the, the window of when I should apply it pretty precisely. And I'm also given a very clear recommendation of what to apply. So my main challenge is now to apply it and also make sure that I apply it relatively uniformly. So I have a bag of fertilizer here, which is 14, 14, 14, 14% 14 nitrogen, 14% P205, 14% K2O. So that's my, if you wish, starter fertilizer for this uh, first application. And um, Basically, since our recommendation is uh, four bags per hectare, and our field is about a quarter of a hectare, it means I have to spread this one bag more or less uniformly over this field. And what I will do is if I have a little bit left over, I will put it on the hybrid strip, not on the input strip. That's the only adjustment I will make. Other than that, it should probably not take me more than maybe half an hour, I hope. What I learned last year is there are a couple of tricks to apply this. One is that uh, I've you know, imagined to divide this strip into four strips, each of them about six meters wide. Uh, but the, the trick is not to walk in the middle of each, but a little bit to the side, because that way you can throw uh, better. And then the other uh, tip they gave me last year was that you have to really swing with your arm wide and keep walking and not sort of looking down and try to sprinkle it like powder sugar. You just go and throw. Yeah, here is something I, I wanted to show you because it's always bothered me. You know, when you apply fertilizer in most uh, traditional rice uh, growing systems and you don't have a machine, basically this is what you see. So you have tiny little young rice plants here. In this case, because spaced quite wide because we used a mechanical transplanter. And they're not really at a stage where they have a big root system that can capture 
much of the nutrients applied. And then you throw this by hand, broadcast, and you see where most of the fertilizer ends up. In this case, on the surface in between. So even if I had incorporated, it would still be in between. So I keep wondering, wouldn't it be nice if uh, on that planting machine that we had, uh, we would have been able to already apply some of the fertilizer, at least this first dose, right away, closer to the rows, so that it can be captured by the plants and it doesn't end up uh, fertilizing the soil. Well, something has always been bothering me, because I'm pretty sure that with this kind of system here, uh, our efficiency is not as good as it could be. So hopefully in the future those machines can be improved for this purpose, particularly even the small one we used.